I think he won the toss. Yeah, won the toss. He's fielding. Why is that? Well, I think it's uh, better to change in the end anyway, because how much ever, however big a total you can get, but it can be chaseable in the end. So that's the only reason. And then we've done well against Australia, so that has uh, prompted us to, I mean, uh, chase. What sort of total do you think you would like to chase? Well, I think uh, maybe 250, 260. We'd like to restrict them to as uh, short a total as possible. But uh, looking at the wicket, you know, I mean, uh, we have to really get those uh, quick wickets early. No team changes? No, not at all. Okay. All the very best. Thank you. Salim, so your batting, is that good news? Well, like uh, last game we played, if we did like that, I think it's a good news. What sort of total will you tell your guys to aim at? Uh, as many as we can. Okay. 260, 270 may be enough? More than that. <laughs> you hope. Any team news? Uh, we're playing with the same team. Okay. Great atmosphere today. Yeah, lovely. Nice day and good crowd. And I hope uh, you're going to enjoy the match. Good luck. Thank you. Well, Salim obviously hardly thrilled with the idea of batting first, but in the first five, he has the best batting lineup in the world. No changes mean he has Akra, Maturuman, Akir Javed, and the off spinner Raza as his main bowlers. The Phillims will be Malik himself, as is Mushtaba, possibly Sahail. India's main bowlers, Srinath, Venkat Prasad, Kumble and Chahan, with Tendulkar and Jadeja sharing the fifth bowling spot. Their top six batsmen, a frightening prospect for any attack. And there's the first ball. And it's played to square leg. And that's the first run for Pakistan. Kumble running across the mid-arm, one for no wicket. Fine shot, pass the bowler on the outside, it's going to be four runs to the long off boundary. The Dade will not cut it off. And he's got that through. Cambly giving chase. Just a couple. That's gone again, and this time Cambly's got a stronger chase, he may just get there. But he's picking him up off his legs well. Three more. But well, he's just flipped that away. Disdainfully, he's really moving into gear now. And the pressure is easing on Pakistan. And even more so after that. Now Saeed Anwar takes up the challenge. That's four more. Asia giving chase. A couple. Tremendous excitement. And that's gone. Superbly timed. He just went on it and away it went. We'll see here. Uh, I'm saying coming forward to it. It wasn't really half run. It was on the top. That was definitely the best shot so far. Middling the ball and He's been under the cosh of them, a line that, of course, the supporters of both the teams. Oh, he's done him again. And he just picks it up. When he's in form like this, he can destroy anybody. We have nine over and three not. When he bowled to Amir Suhail, round the wicket, he managed to cut him in. But side and right here, in the right slot for him. So hell. And that's all right. First ball, misdirected down the leg side, swept. If it doesn't matter to so hell this morning, short line leg was out. Oh, and that's gone edge. Four slips and one existing slips. It's four runs. What a marvelous play. It was well up to side Anwar. He hit it very hard into the mid-off gap, but beautifully struck boundary he was charging down the wicket made him some room and a brilliant stroke seems to be getting in his strides Kumble must be really thinking as to why and that's going to be four down 
down to the long leg boundary, beautifully turned. He got to the pitch of it, three time, four runs. Yes, well, he, he's got the man up inside the circle there around the corner, that's Sidhu. And he's got a man out in front of square, so we're still within the first 15 overs. Cuts clear of the wicket, it's going to be four to the deep backward point boundary. Down the wicket he comes, it is going to be a six of it. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal, and it is a six. The crowd tell it all. Wicket. Look how he pitches this. He knows there's a long arm out there to get a wide of that fielder. And that... Down the wicket he comes, it's up in the air, he could be out court, and he's gone. And too much of a chance here, tries to hit it over long arm for six, or maybe he went towards mid-wicket, I would suspect that was the case. But we have Prasad, and look how he looks anxiously after he takes it to see where the boundary is. He looked around there, but he was clearly inside, a delighted Prasad. Pakistan lose their first wicket at 96. And that is 52. Glorious passion. He plays a magnificent shot. And here, Tendulka. He's gone fine. Ben Kaprasad making the chase. Saves the four, but they're through for a couple. Ah! And that's a very good piece of work. A brilliant piece of work by Mungia. Yes, there you see, indeed, it's a magnificent piece of uh, stumping. Oh, 125 now for two. Ah! And he's gone, he's caught by a short mid wicket. Sonny Malik is out, another wicket for India, and this really is a tremendous breakthrough. Two wickets in this over. Oh, there you see, quite a delivery coming in, not on top of the ball. Straight, straight to Azur Udina, short mid wicket. Fielders, mid on or mid wicket can get round to that. He's gone down! A cross bat shot, a very indiscreet one, and Sahel is gone. Top wicket down and India on top. Sahel struggling as I've just outlined to you, and the frustration there, and they're also. Srinath there really see the pressure on his face and his reaction in taking that wicket. So Pakistan now lose their fourth at 149. Here he is to pass it. It's a good stroke in his four runs. He hit that one perfectly. It really was a good sweep that by too much. And a lovely shot there. It could be four runs, but it may be cut off just inside the boundary line. And they go two for two. He moved away past his uh, up. And that's going to go to four almost certainly once again giving himself room and lofting it over cover. One nine three for four in charge. Well, uh, this is Basadali in true form. Smacking it. It almost went for six. I thought it was going to disappear up into the stand. What a beautiful shot! Down the wicket he comes, he's gone two for a single, it's at 50. Coming back for the second. 51 to Barset. Barset. That's up in the air, he could be gone. Oh no! It's through his hands, is it? We'll have to wait for the replay to six. to hit him to mid wicket cross bats it and just before lunch not a very good shot to play from the Pakistan point of view a marvellous break through for India when Pakistan were going along so nicely we see a terrible slide like that from Basad Ali but what a good hand he's played for his 50 he's gone caught by 
and the wicket has fallen in the sea on replay. It's full and wide, and he just angled the bat up rather than closing the face on it, and it flew with the pace of the ball from Srinath straight to Azhar. He takes the catch, and now Pakistan 2-1-9 for six of them. And that could be four. The ball coming quickly. Kumbhakar getting to it, and it's through him. A dive could have saved it. Be four runs. There's a fielder lumbering after it, and it's down to four. Puts the by the batsman. He drives into the covers. It'll be just a single, and exactly 250 for six at the end of the 50th over. Two five one the target. Said Anwar caught Prasad bowled Johan 47. Sahil bowled Sid. The bowling figures, Sri Nath, 10 overs, no maidens, 3 for 55. Prasad, 9 overs, 1 maiden, none for 45. So far, Shah Wazim has been a little wayward, particularly in his opening spell. Lovely shot, four runs, two extra cover, what a beautiful shot. I will just watch it again. Full top, and it's up in the air. It's a by Amir Sahel. He put it away, and it was wide, but Tendulkar went at the shot too quickly. He hit it on the up, with the bat coming upwards, and Sahel taking a good catch. Well, there you 
see Azul have been trying to steer the ball away and it only succeeded in giving a catch to the wicket keeper. Good wickets, that's why the scoring rate is dropping. Yes, if he had hit it from that moving down the pitch, he might have gone straight for six. He got a bit close to it. Here's the six again. Just look at this. Bounces down the wicket. Beautifully timed. Minimum of effort, and it went way, way over. And he's gone again. And this is long, very long. Long leg, deep mid wicket, and long off and long on both wide. That's up in the air. There's another six. And he just rests on his haunches, does Badadi, as if he could do that all day. So he's able to pick up the ball and then send it all with a flick of the wrist. Pure timing. Well, now you can understand why he's drawn such a following in India. That's gone wide. And it's through Mushabir, the fielder. Now that was risky. The little man seems to have matured very quickly. He's gone for that one. And he's over him. It's six. Akib Javid just got to come down, but not quickly enough. And another six. Four sixes he's hit now. That was a great effort, though. You have to say. It was a good hit, but, you know, let's just watch Akib. He tries his best. He's completely on his toes there, and yet the ball is just a little bit too high. From Pakistan's point of view, they need a wicket. It's in the air. He could be caught here. Deep back with four of the ears. He's out. It's Asif Mustafa who's taken the catch and the catch. And that very much has leveled the game up again, if not tilted it over towards Pakistan. Yes, they have. The game has gone towards Pakistan now because they've just got one more wicket left. Well, it will go down to the wire. That's up in the air! And he's going to the air! He decided he wants a single, so look at that. Now, that is, I would call that embarrassing. It's up in the air! But he couldn't get under it. His innings at 56 comes to an end. 182 for 7 India. Coming back for the second. And well, in the end for the run out. And once again, the third umpire comes into question. Let's watch it, Glenn. He'll extend his bat. Look if he extends the bat or not here. Well, perhaps I've done him an injustice, but look, it's going in the yeah. air over the line. That's no good. You've got to ground it before you get there. That's definitely out. And so Chowan, not knowing how to run his bat, look here, he dabs it in. Oh, yes, the bat is high up. Yes, it's, and it must be grounded, so he must be given that. Yes, he's gone. And uh, whereas Kumle got the decision, or Kumle got the de decision in his favour, satisfactory Indian scoreboard. Their main batsmen all got themselves out rather unwisely and stupidly, and by the end, the target of 251 looked further away than it should have done. The bowling well Wazim Akram was tremendously quick, even on this dead pitch, and the rest of the bowlers did a thoroughly good job for their captain. Victory. Prasad, the batsman, O'Dare went through and hit the back pad. For some reason he missed it, and great relief there on the pace of Akram. Prasad bewildered as to where it had gone. It would have hit if it hadn't hit him. So Pakistan win. And they win by 
39 